cast and all in attendance, so courtesy of the official Soul fans, coaches, and players. Telecom Productions. This is another Friday night football game between the Marion Harding Presidents and the Clear Fork Colts on homecoming night, uh, pre I guess. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, the usual partner Holden Clem is not here. But we got a new uh, new broadcast partner, Zane Pritchard. That's me, Zane Pritchard. Zane, what are your uh, what are your thoughts on this game? How do you think this could potentially go? Both teams are definitely looking for a win here after, uh, you know, not so not so great of a start to the season for Absolutely. the Brexit. Clear fork up to kick the ball off. Out to return for the presidents. Looks to be three people. Uh, Ray J. Scott Harbolt. Uh, Jerry Williams and I believe Jaden Griffith. You should know Ray J getting subbed off. Of 
cold squib kick it. It is uh, recovered there by Cameron Fags, who is uh, ooh, lucky to get a few yards out of that, but land about at the 30 so yard line. Cameron Fags. So the Presidents will start out here on offense. Connor Pennington leading the helm. Yeah, that was a rough, rough last week there for the Harding Presidents. Absolutely, not having Connor for the River Valley game. It was a very rainy and muddy game. Lots of players out. Keontae Scott, Absolutely. Parker Davis out there. Uh huh. I believe they're healthy now for this week, though. I believe Parker Davis. I'm not sure. Hmm. That is one of our star players. It would be definitely nice to have him back. Don't see 15 out there, though. So, unfortunately, I don't think he's playing tonight. Connor leading Ray J in motion. Four wide receivers. I believe that's Asen Rich on the end around. Mm. And he is, oh, brought Lost down there awkwardly. There, huh? Absolutely. That's going to be a. Jesse <laughs> Sample up there. About second and 13, maybe. Or is that just second and 10? I'm not sure. A little bit of a packed telecom room here right now for unknown reason. Second and 15. Rich lost five yards on the play. That is crucial. There it is. False start on the first. Second play of the game. I believe that was Keegan Stitt there with the false start. It's not usual you see a center get a false start in football. Nope. Sending him in motion again. Here he comes. Faking the end around. Connor faking a man out. Throws it wide. Straight to the clear fork sidelines. Third and a mile now for the Presidents after a promising area to start for their first drive of the game. This is going to be tough. They need some uh, momentum going here. Absolutely. Got to get some going. Subbing uh, Landon Adams off. Cartel Stinson out there as one of the receivers as well as Dylan Holloway and Juan on this side. Colts rush four. It is going to be a uh, draw play. It looks to be there. Not getting anywhere, and that was just a throwaway part to the end of that drive. Yeah, I must say, Harding's notorious for the runs on third and long. Oh, absolutely. Very, very notorious for it. As they send out Jackson Shipley, one of the uh, stronger areas of the team, is their kicking game. Oh, yeah. See how big of a move Jackson gets. He was an athlete of the month this month, wasn't he? I believe it was for August, the Faye, ba uh, Faye Bank Athlete of the Month. There it is. Snaps clear. Pretty solid punt. Awkward bounce, landing it at about 40. 43? I'd say 43. Maybe 43, 43 yard line. It's a good punt. Down by Harding <laughs> sends out their defense. One of the stronger areas of his uh, team is this uh, front, front four, front seven. They got. They have been struggling in man-to-man -man coverage though, so it's uh, going to be interesting how they match up against this uh, struggling uh, Colts offense. Hopefully our defense is as good as theirs that drive. As they start the ball with an RPO. Looks like a first down. I believe it is. Moving the chains on the first play of the drive. There it is. Talk about making a uh, making a statement with the first play. Absolute impact. Ooh, I'm not sure. They're not moving the line. They say any short by a, an inch. Hopeless pass is complete. Gain of nine, second and one. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable Second inches, I was, huh? I was convinced that was a first down. Correction, game of 10, first down, blue 
four-man front here. Looking to be in a bunch formation for the defense. Very compact. Sending a man in motion for the run. Attempting to get a first down. One broken tackle. And he does. Ooh. In the game. Inability to tackle him there, I guess. I mean, he broke several tackles. There was multiple opportunities there for the presidents. They just could not capitalize. That's going to be very second and manageable there for this Colts offense. Second and short on the 39 yard line. Quarterback snaps the ball and looks for a slant over the middle, there it breaking is. a tackle. Ooh. The truck at the end. Absolutely. Getting a whole bunch of yards. And uh, that receiver has the Guardian cap on. That's the first one I've seen in high school. Getting it a little bit more common to see. I've seen uh, people from Ashland, I believe, oh, uh, really? the quarterback work. Safety is becoming more of a priority here in football, so it's a very good, uh, very good sight to see. Good to see. Yeah, he's gonna be taking a lot of hits too. He's he's a oh. DB too. Mm -hmm. Number thirteen, double duty. First and ten here from the twenty-five, handing the ball off. Smith the ball carrier. And the O line is no whistle yet. Wow, what a push! Smith is met by a host Talk about not president. giving up there on the play. Second and four here on the 19 yard line. Colts entering the red zone. Another run. Hanging the ball off again. Still getting pushed from his Another own. Another maybe three or four yards. Uh, he might have got that first down. They're saying third and short though. Hit first by Lucas Keller. Interesting to see what the president's defense goes here for. Potentially an all-out blitz to stop the run. Yeah, third and four here. We They need to stop. They're really working them on the RPOs out there with the running back. They're really trying to establish that run game to get the defense very feared. They marched. They marched down the field. Marched straight down from, I believe, the 38-yard line. They're already in the red zone. Man in motion, handing the ball oh. off again, getting a huge slip through the hole. And I believe that's a touchdown. touchdown clear clear for it. What a drive. I mean, they ran it through the president's defense like it was nothing. Unbelievable start here for the clear for offense. Especially one that struggled mightily through this season. Extra point. Extra points up. It's good. A little bit of a high snap there, though. Hopefully a long snap and get that in the control for uh, problems. Before problems. under the president's offense now, uh, commanding them to potentially equalize this game and make this an actual competitive game. Yeah, if they don't bring something back here, this could slip out their hands before they know it. I don't want this to get ugly before half, Zane, but this Colts offense has looked very strong, especially with that first drive. Scoring in, I believe, in just two minutes. And with how, de how good the defense has looked, especially against our offense, it's curious to see how the uh, presidents are going to be able to bounce back from this. Kickoff is up. 
And it's another oh, squib kick, kick, and they fall on it instantly. Interesting strategy, not a bad one though, landing him about the 33-34 yard line. in the president's offense trotting out there at the 33 yard line to start this drive off first and 10 here Let's see what they can get going wonder if they're going to start running the ball with Ray J he is one of the more prolific players on this team definitely a standout player for Harding and just like that they hand the ball off to him Ooh. Holloway up to block the corner room. and he breaks into space there he is close to a first down cutting up maybe a second and one second and two there Good chunk of change there for Ray J, though. A little bit of... There we go. A little bit of crickets from the freshmen there in the student section. That's unfortunate to hear. There it is. Oh, there we go. First down. Maybe that'll get some momentum going. Good 10 yard run there from Ray J. That is gonna carry on a lot of momentum for this offense as they fake the handoff and throw the ball as an out route to Dylan Holloway who gets close to a first down if not another one. Oh. Offensive linemen seem to be running into each other there. As they move Landon Adams out there at tight end for a fullback position. Ace and Rich in motion. That's the slot receiver. Who's the fullback? Uh, Connor Pennington. <laughs> Second and one. Here on the 48 yard line. They hand the ball off to Ray J, who gets a there first down, mustering through a few tackles. Much better start to this drive. Absolutely. Oh, man seems to be down there. There they go. The flames are shooting off. There seems to be a, a president's player. Yeah. Oh. It's unfortunate to see, especially this early on in the game. Any idea on who that is? I believe that's Keegan Stitt. No, it's not. Oh, that's, I believe that's our, maybe our center. It's unfortunate to see. Glad to see he's up walking off. I believe it's a uh, sophomore, David Rich. It's very sad to see. Oh yeah, I Injury believe that special. was our center. We got number 64 uh, snapping the ball there. That's Keegan Stitt. Yeah, is he our starting center? Yeah. Oh wow. I believe they uh, moved Rich over to left guard. Now they uh, had to put Lucas Keller out there. Ooh. He's gonna be tired by the end of this. That's gonna be uh, very interesting playing both sides of the ball, linebacker and offensive line. It's gonna be interesting to see how he uh, handles Ooh. that. He blocks quite well for Pennington Stepping as he up. steps up in the pocket. Ooh. Ooh. Rough hit there, looked like to the head area, but nothing called. That's gonna be second down and about five, I believe. Tawan Butler subbed into the game for Wanye Fleming. There he goes, senior. Getting Running five there. wide here. Whoa. Potentially looking for a uh, wide receiver screen here on the close end to us and that is exactly what it is as Ray J gets a good block there running through a man out to the sidelines and getting a first down there on a much needed third down 
Pick up the main A. First down, Rexy. There it is. Three first downs so far. This three time. straight. This offense has taken over. Definitely draining a lot of minutes off the clock. About three Have they already. Seen a third down this drive? They just saw one. Oh. But through adversity on third and long. Four wide. Running an out route again to Holloway, who is wrapped up by two people. It might have been a gain there, but it was short. It was a short gain. Interesting to see Pennington choose the uh, side with only one guy on it. But no gain. No gain. Oh, five yard gain. Wow. A lot bigger gain than we both anticipated. As they sub uh, Landon Adams back there and fullback again. Potentially an inside zone run to the left. And it is a draw play. Ray J getting a little bit past the line of scrimmage there. Maybe out third and three. Down by Davis, two, third and three. Two yard gain. Yeah. Solid little gain there. Making it a little bit easier for the Presidents to get this third down here. Pennington talking to his offensive lineman. They're going to need this. Fake snap trying to draw him off sides. Oh, oh, oh Ray J breaking it. off a plethora of tackles. He's got room. Getting to the outside. And that is a first down for the Presidents. Unbelievable. I mean, that's their first big play of the game so far. That is an absolute game changer. Making a statement with that run. Huge. Getting the crowd more involved into the game. The Flames are shooting. I think that's exactly what we need. Absolutely. I mean, it, it was scary seeing all those defenders on them in the backfield. I could have swore that was a tackle for loss, and that was going to be a president's fourth down. We might have gone for it, too. First and 10 here on the 17 yard line. Five wide receivers out, and that is a screenplay again to Ray J. He's got room. Trying to oh. break into the inside. and He's on the 10 yard line. That's a seven yard game there on the screenplay. They're knocking on first and goal. Inside the red zone. Halfway, only need about 10 yards now. As the president's offense is looking to the sideline as the coaches flail their arms. Second and three there. Running four wide receivers. I believe two stacks. Potentially a RPO situation here. Oh, and Pennington keeps the ball for himself as on a no gainer. I believe that'll be third and two, maybe third and three. There's about two and a half minutes to go here in this first quarter already. The presidents have used up most of this first quarter on this drive. 78's back out there. That's, a, that's an amazing sight to see. Keller stepped in very well for him. Third and three here on the 11-yard line. Ray J. Ray J. Ray J trying to get past, but he may get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be a fourth down and short. Fourth and two here on the 10-yard line. It's going to be very interesting to see what they call here. I don't see Shipley going out. Shipley is not going out there. This is a make or break play. They're pulling both of their receivers off. And they're putting Keller back out there with Landon Adams. Bringing a some double backup tight for end. the run, it looks like. Double tight end. Only two receivers out there. There's a timeout call here by the president's offense. A little bit of timeout. confusion there on that play. Probably a good choice. Absolutely. Maybe talk it over. Get to know the play a little bit more. 
We'll be right back after commercial. Welcome to Harding Telecom Digital Media. Unlike television, print, and radio media, which are all one-way communications, digital media creates an interconnected world of interactive communications that puts you in control of content creation. Introducing Zane Pritchard, I'm like, I don't know. About a minute and 20 here to go. We are back here from commercial break. President still looks like a T formation there in the backfield. Ray J up at receiver as well as Dylan Holloway. Landon Adams and uh, Lucas Keller there to block for, I believe, Ashton Fosnaw. And they fake the pitch. Pennington is wrapped up there and sacked for a loss of about eight. And that is an unfortunate end to a very promising drive there for the Presidents, getting out of there with no points. Looking back on it now, Zane, do you question if they should have just taken the field goal? I think so. With Shipley, a kicker, I think that's a safe bet. Very efficient seven. guy, especially inside the 20-yard line. Almost automatic. Parker Davis is down there and... Uh... Looks like he's not suited up for the game. Not suited up. That's very unfortunate. Hey, better to see. than last week, though. I saw him on crutches. Yes, he is walking now on his own. So that's very promising. Hopefully to return, uh, maybe next week. Hopefully next time we uh, come back to you guys for the pleasant game. He'll we be back a in a jumping so reception oh. there. Incomplete though. He dropped it. Large effort there from number 11 there on the Colts though. As it was a very high pointed throw there from the quarterback. Second and 10 now from the 17. Minute and 10 left in the first quarter. Colts up seven against the Presidents. Curious to see if the offensive fire has rubbed off on the defense to uh, perform to stop this Colts uh, offense. As they tackle him almost instantly. Maybe getting a couple. If that. Maybe. Might have gotten tackled for a loss. Also in on the play, Xavier Ashburn. Tackle by Xavier on who was uh, recently burst onto the scene of the starting lineup for this starting defense. It's very exciting to see him uh, jump into that defensive tackle role for the Presidents. 34 seconds left on the clock and it's running. I mean, Crazy it's only the first quarter, but uh, pretty quick it felt like. Absolutely, it's flown by very quickly as they send the house, trying to oh, wrap the quarterback up and they do. Down on the six yard line. Wow. What a push there from this defense. They desperately needed that to hold the momentum of the Clear Fork offense. Hopefully that gets something going for our defense here. I mean, they've done Seriously. pretty good this drive. Oh, it, that, that brings up fourth down. Fourth down. Quick three and out there for Clear Fork. Not really doing much on offense besides losing 10 yards. Not a good feat. They are still up 7-0. They are. As that wraps up the first quarter here. Planning since 
1922, and they want to offer you comfort and peace of mind in your most difficult times of need. Hey, the booth up here is feeling a little less, little less crowded. Absolutely, the second quarter, a lot less people up here. Maybe for the better, though. We do still have a fair, full crew. Shout out Mullins. Shout out to Telecom. Shout out to Telecom, man. Set to punt the ball away for the Colts. Match Evans. Colts here to punt the ball out to the Presidents. Two people have to receive the punt. Williams I believe that is Jerry Williams and Jaden Griffith. Colts backed up in the end zone. And he drops the, the punt. Punt was muffed. Luckily recovered there. And Griffith slips there on the turf, and he is down where he catches it. But that is in enemy territory. Not a great punt there from the Colts punter. Presidents take over on offense here. This time, hopefully, to uh, encaps their drive with a touchdown as they fell up short there, trying to go for it there on fourth and short, and they get sacked. How devastating. Can they try to capitalize with this phenomenal start with the field position, Zane? Would love to see a bounce back here. A uh, little less than half of the field to go. Only 43 yards to go. Putting Falls now back in at running back. And uh, he's been out the last couple of games. He's yeah. been... Uh, Believe in a he'll believe in a boot. Yeah. So it's uh it's nice to see him back out there, especially for his senior season. Yeah. Um, Play clock starts now. Presidents, three three receivers. Ace and Rich in the uh, slot. Cartel Stinson, uh, they're rich in motion. Maybe looking for a screen. Fakes that, and Stinson Ooh. drops the ball there. This will be second and 10 here at the 43-yard line. Presidents seem to love their RPO and screen plays here, Zane, but it's... Uh, very weird to see them try to favor the short side of the field. Yeah. Second and 10 here. Four wide receivers on the field with Ray J back in. Oh, there's another flag. Oh, looks to be there on the cold. Up a maybe an encro maybe an encroachment play there on the defensive line. Unfortunate for the Colts after they just got a uh, forced incompletion. Now pushing the presidents up five yards. And the uh, rest telling them to raise the roof. Not quite sure what that's all about. Pennington talking to his old line about uh pass protection preparing for a potential blitz from the Colts linebackers and he Maybe hands the ball off to Ray J he picks up about two or three yards Maybe. third manageable though very third manageable here definitely brought down by Mason Sansom you know Zane I've actually uh you know questioned this throughout the games I've called if the presidents are about between the 30 and 40 yard line, is it crazy to try a kick with Jackson? I I think it might be. You think? I you think, think that's quite out of his range? I don't think it is, but I think he could I think he should see a couple uh, shorter kicks Heading in to game. three people in his face and he just Oh. No intentional grounding flag there. That is a very Favor for call for the president's quarterback, Pennington. And that brings up fourth and five here. President's only gaining yards on the penalty play. That's 
Very concerning as they are discussing that play. <coughs> as is potential uh, grounding. Hey, the clock's running. If they're going to make a play, they might want to do it. Or they can. It looks like the refs have the play stopped. There it is. There's, the, there's flag. the flag there on Pennington for grounding. Didn't get the ball back to the line of scrimmage as he just shovel passed it outside. And this is going to leave him with fourth and a uh, country mile at this point. Yeah, this is uh, very unfortunate. A three and out in enemy territory. Very shocking to see. That, that was definitely the right call. Right call from the refs, but unfortunate to see for the presidents. As they send Shipley out there for the second time to punt the ball. You got to think that's got to be crushing for the coaching staff and the offense for starting on the 43-yard line and being forced to punt it. From almost their own, well, behind their own 43-yard line. As Shipley's punt. Goes out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. And that is about where the Colts are gonna take uh, take this drive to start. See if, see if our defense can uh, keep it up there. Absolutely, you know, the defense has looked sharp ever since that uh, first explosive offensive drive. So hopefully they can uh, accumulate some of that first half magic they had. Definitely want to see some more uh, pressures on the QB. Looks like they made the right adjustments there, though, after uh, after the big drive to start the game. Fullback out there to block for the Colts running game as he is uh, struggling to get some yards. Maybe about two or three there? Three or four, I'd say. It's going to be... Uh, Second down and uh, second and eight, I believe. Second and eight on the 25 yard line for the Colts. Subbing their fullback out. Likely not looking for a run, maybe an RPO play. They have been known to go for that. Little slant over the middle. Potentially with the high wide receiver. Covered by uh, Juju Glover right now. Oh, and the snap is muffed. Flags all over the field. I believe two or three thrown. Is that going to be another false? Is that another false start on another center? Two false starts on two separate centers. That is not something you're going to see every game. Never. Maybe I, I don't think we'll ever see that again. It's very rare seeing the centers false start in general, let alone two separate ones. In the same game, in the first, in the same half. Ain't that the truth? Second and thirteen on the twenty-yard line. Colts looking to uh, launch it downfield, and it is overthrown there. Cameron Fags in coverage. He had the room, uh, just overthrown. Ref seems to lose his hat after that call. It's very unfortunate. It's going to be a third and long here for the Colts. Just under 10 minutes left to go here in the first half. Zane, I would say so far, so good for the President's defense. I mean, they have shown up and delivered what we've been asking them to. It all goes back to the offense, as if they're able to make the adjustments. Third I mean, down. After the defense left them on the 43. Oh, and it is Ooh. dropped over the middle. Could have had a big first down there. It's going to be fourth and 13 for the Colts. Very, very unnecessary drop there from the wide receiver. I don't even believe uh, the coverage was all that amazing. Crucial drop. Yeah. As the Colts are going to send their punt unit on for the third time already. Yeah, let's not forget last time he, he duffed the catch. See if the uh, long snapper and punter can get on the same page here. They do. 
And there it is. A much that putt is a point. lot better. And taking an amazing bounce. Rolling. Oh, oh he, he could have got that about to the 30-yard line if they didn't touch that. But a couple inches away, 31-yard line, not that big of a deal. Keontae Scott's still on the sideline. He must have been... Uh, I believe that's a... Uh, a suspension. suspension would have been a little uh, heavy there for two games. I believe it is a two-game suspension for Keontae. It's unfortunate we didn't get to see him play this week. With him and Parker being out, that is uh, not ideal for uh, anybody on the offense, but especially Connor, his top two targets not being in the game. In a I crucial mean, game, actually. Yeah, you're seeing how that's affecting our offense, too. Ah. Uh, Having a few inexperienced wide receivers out there who aren't necessarily in the starting lineup like Cartel Stinson, Asen Rich. Get a lot more playing time than usual here at the receiver position. Especially Asen there as a freshman. We do still have Dylan Hallway. He's a... Uh... Oh, and that looks to be a false start. Taking a very long play. Or a very long time to make that play develop and... Another miscommunication on the offense. And you hate to see it. You know, you'd think they'd clean up these uh, silly mistakes. Oh. It looks to be a penalty on the Colts here. We're hearing some boos from the... Uh... Some fans on the uh, opposing side not too happy about that call of all sides. Hey, I got two words for him. Uh, womp womp. Huh? First and five here on the 36-yard line. Pennington snaps the ball. Hands the ball off to Ray J. Scott oh. Harper, who is looks to be like a horse collar tackle there. He was waiting for the flag back. any minute at this point. I mean, I think we all saw that one. A lot of screaming there from the Colts sideline. The uh, visiting side got what they wanted, huh? <laughs> they really want this win. They really want this win. They may be uh, maybe as deprived of a win as we are. Second and five here. After a no-gain run there for Ray J. Scott Harbaugh. Pennington snaps the ball. Looks for a quick out route there it to is. Still in hallway. Picks for a first up. down. Picks up the first down. There it is. That's huge, Zane. That's huge. Absolute chills when Brett says that. Absolute chills. First down and 10 here on the 43-yard line. Just under nine minutes to go here in the first half. And the president seemed to be... Uh, Conjuring up a drive here on the night before homecoming. Yeah, don't forget about the uh, halftime tonight. We're going to have a... The, uh, the crowning, I believe. Yes. As uh, Scott... Oh, Ray J. Moving out to the outside, Ooh. trying, and gets uh, stuck in between three Colts defenders there. Takes a hard hit from them all. He's uh, not going to get any yards out of that. So that's hard nose running for nothing. Very unfortunate there for Ray J putting his body on the line. Not getting any yards to gain out of that. Still only second down now. Got a couple plays to work this drive out. Connor does like looking to the out route for Dylan. It is high now, but maybe look that on Cartel or... Ace in here on the bottom side. There's another flag. There it is. Jeremy Hoy's calling a uh, false start on him. Special shout out, Jeremy Hoy, huh? Yeah, it looks like he's refing the game there behind number uh, 40. Could be a mistake. Hoy looks to be in the center, center general area. Maybe the field general ref. Here we are. have our... Oh! oh! Almost immediately, Ray J taking helmet to helmet there. 
That is a rough hit there. Maybe knocking him back some yards even. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even realize this looking over at the Colts sideline. But I don't believe they have a student section. It does not appear that way. Looks to just be fans of uh, maybe the parents or something. Pennington rolls out right and launches the ball down the field. Oh, yeah. It is dropped by Ray J. Scott Hardwell. The unicorn of this offense, he can kind of do everything. He played quarterback last week after Pennington was out with a suspension. He's played running back for the entire season. I believe he's, he's, still, he's still a junior, isn't he? He is. Ooh, he's got a he's got a massive senior here. Massive senior year coming up for Ray J. Just really getting started. He started his uh, football career for Harding and what position? Defensive tackle. Ooh. As Shipley punts the ball, as that uh, looks to have a little too much backspin. Backspin on that one. That gets out at about the 50-yard line. That exactly. is unusual <laughs> error there. Only a 15-yard punt. Not something usual you see out of the athlete of the month. He's going to be beating himself up after that one. Starting at about the 50-yard line with about six and a half minutes left here in the first half. Low scoring so far. Man, Harding had a low scoring game last, last time too, didn't they, Logan? Logan, you catch that one? I did not. Said uh, low, Harding had a pretty low scoring game last, last game too. Uh, I believe it was 10-0. Face some bad weather. Oh, that and game. Juju in coverage, swatting the ball and knocking off concentration for number six on the Colts and avoiding the big play there. And Juju's looking a little frustrated after that one. He just he made a big play for Very us. Very big play there from Juju. Maybe beating himself over the fact that he could have had the pick, but I'm, with one hand, you know, you gotta hold yourself to limitations, hold yourself to expectations, and understand that not every big play is going to happen. But a phenomenal play there by only a sophomore. Yeah, great play nonetheless. Second and 10 here from the 50. The Colts looking to gain some yards as they take the Ooh. QB sneak. And they get tackled for a loss of two or three yards there. A big play for our defense. Another running TFL, they have been just stacking these up one by one. I believe they have about three or four now. On top of the sack or two that they have, they have just been getting through this offensive line and getting to that quarterback. And that brings up third and 11 here. Losing yards here. A potential situation like the President's had starting in excellent field position and not being able to capitalize off it seems to be the reoccurring theme for these offenses, Zane. And he is there sacked, is a the ball fumble. is out! And that is recovered by Xavier Mincy! Flames are shooting! Presidents take over in enemy territory once again, Zane! And that is an electric play! What a defensive drive from the Prexy! I mean, three straight! Three straight amazing drives from our defense, getting through and getting to that quarterback. Quarterback might be seeing ghosts after these last few drives. I'm not going to lie. Halloween's just around the corner. <laughs> Defense is taking a lot of initiative this game. I mean, if they can keep this up, if our offense can participate, then this could be a great game for them. Practice. All we need from the offense is to at least get into field goal range. We could win with three field goals as of right now as if we were just going to hold them to seven the whole game. Unlikely. Another flag thrown and there. There's the flag from Rick Ross once again this Rick. week. Uh, 
Rick, hate to see him. Rick does not seem to be a fan as he struck. As he uh, picks up the flag there, does not seem to be a fan of the president. As we know, he called a lot of penalties against us in the Highland game. Yeah, it seems week in and week out, penalties are a problem for this team. Huge issue. They cannot seem to slow the penalties down. They seem to always be accumulated. Holloway, as Holloway spin. spins out he's still, still tackles. Getting it back to second and short, maybe. And they needed that. They picked up maybe eight or seven or eight yards there. That might have been 14, Oh, wait, yeah, that was, I'm thinking that's a lot more than seven or eight yards. Good call. That seems to be second and two now. Oh, yeah. 13 yard grab from Holloway. Big pick up there. Excellent performances so far from this receiving group, trying to get everything they can out of these targets, trying to get every yard they can as they hand the ball off to Ray J. Ooh. Scott Harbaugh, who is met by a duo of defensive linemen there from Clear Fork. That's going to bring up uh, loss of one, third and three. Third and down, third short, I believe. Yeah, that loss of a yard there, they're going to say. Pennington running over to Coach Williamson, a prominent play caller, as they sub landing off for Taiwan Butler, moving him to the tight end position. Oh, it seems to be running four wide. They need something here. Something short, ace and rich in motion. And another flag, potentially a false start. The that QB looks frustrated. Gut-wrenching, to say the least. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, with the families that are escorting our homecoming court, Please report to the visitor's side of the field. Brett Again, trying to uh, interrupt our broadcast here. Third and eight here for the president on the 41 yard line. Fake. And that looks to be a swatted pass there from Pennington's hand. It's going to be fourth and eight. Penalties ruining the drive for the president after a prominent defensive hold and turnover on downs, or not turnover on downs, a forced fumble from the defensive line, and they and just this, have not been able to capitalize. This defense can only keep this up so long. I mean, they're getting maybe three or four plays, and they got to go back out there and try again. This is going to wear them out. It's three and out after three and out, Zane. You got to wonder, what about Clear Fork's defense? Their offense has not been able to do much since that opening drive with the touchdown. So, are, is this going to be a strong defensive game once again? A ship like the it ball a lot better than the last time. And he's recovered inside the five at about the four yard line. Whoa, he's breaking through tackles. He's moving, he's got. Oh, oh, caught from behind there by Ace and Rich. Potential touchdown saving tackle there from the freshman. That was definitely a key tackle there. He's going to get some talking to about some defense there, maybe, huh? The special teams unit looking a little bit uh, confused out there. They got to wrap him up quickly to avoid those big plays there. That was looking scary for a second. I th I, I really did think that he was going to take it all the way there for a sec, Zane. And at first I was thinking maybe that was a bad, bad idea to catch it. That could have just been a touchback and then... Uh, Got a huge gain out of that. Big I believe one. 23 yards. Can, can you get a touchback off of the front? <laughs> it's called a fair catch. Oh. That is not what I'm talking about. Oh, well, that's what they call it. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about touchback. When it rolls back into the end zone, they start on the near the 25. Oh, yes. <laughs> Flag on the play. Encroachment against the presidents. First and five for the Colts. First and five here after the, I believe, the uh, another encroachment call on the defense. Running back tripped up there and looks to be just short of the first down yard line. It's going to be second and one there for the Colts. Then you mentioned earlier about how the defense may be starting to get weared out after all these offensive three and outs. 
could this be after could this be the drive I mean not looked great after the encroachment call first down run there from the Colts running back I believe a timeout is called and we might need it I mean uh, three and a half minutes oh clear for calling the timeout a little bit of a uh, talking to for the offense maybe set the tone for this drive they're gonna need uh they need some points. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they don't need need some points, but uh, definitely would help to go out at half. With Boost a little bit of morale for that offense. They yeah. have not done much since the <coughs> eighth minute of the first quarter. And honestly, I got the feeling at the beginning of the game there uh, that I've felt the last uh, couple of losses we've got where the game just starts taking off for the other team. And uh, it's good, good to see us recover after that. Way to hold our ground here in the entire first half, not giving up much points. There's a they run. Hand the ball off, and he breaks, breaks. off a couple tackles. Ooh. Maybe pushed by uh, the linebackers for another first down. That running back has made a big impact in this game. He has been a uh, workhorse for them. Maybe a little Ray J. Scott Harbold action going on for him. Huh? Absolutely. He, he could... Genuinely see about 25, 30 carries this game, Zane. It's not crazy to say. Not crazy to say one That's bit. That's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous to say that. As it looks to be a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Mincy sub back onto the field. It's going to be second and 11 here after a TFL there on that running play. A little bit of a, a bit of a boost there for our defense. Trying to get back to the defensive prowess that we had. Looks to be an option Run play. The is the quarterback. Oh, take it off. Oh, a fumble again. The quarterback. Second straight fumble on back-to-back -back drives. He's got to hold on to that football, Zane. He definitely does. And they, they might have got away with it that, one, that time, but next time they might not be so lucky. He's got to hold on to that ball. Presidents already have one fumble recovery. They're looking to add more turnovers in their basket. No interceptions in the first half so far. That's Those good Those quarterbacks to see. with a clean sheet. Not often you see that here in the first half. As he drops back to pass, pressure at his face. There he is, Rush. And he is hit and sacked once again. Hey, and he's lucky he kept the ball that time because we had about three of them in the backfield. There. He was looking to throw that there, Zane, and he uh, wisely decided he was just going to try to tuck the ball and keep possession as it's going to be fourth down for Clearfork. And Marion takes their second time out of the game trying to conserve the minute and a half they have left here in the first half, Zane. First and, he say, fourth, fourth and 17 for the Colts. Looking at a likely an obvious punting situation here. I mean, you gotta assume, right? Try to avoid at all costs putting Harding in clear fork territory, especially with only a minute and a half to go. Although, Marion, Marion Harding has not seemed to uh, get much done on offense. They have not scored any points yet. Still looking for their first, first points of the game. They've uh, seen a few flashy drives there, the second drive of the game, and a couple drives here in the second half. But just haven't been able to capitalize. A few here and there plays, but I mean... Nothing too serious since that second drive. Clear fork out to punt as it was uh, there it is. blocked and is taken up by Jaden Griffith. Looking for some blockers, avoiding a few tackles. And Not he is hit out of bounds just short of the 35-yard line. Yep. And uh, Huell was making his march there down to about the 30-yard line. Wow, another flag, though. Wow. Right, dead center in the middle of the field. Interesting to see what they call. Maybe See what Whitehead hears from back. Jeremy Hoy there. Jeremy Hoy potentially calling a block in the back there on the president. They are pointing in the president's direction. There isn't a likely uh, 
Illegal block in the back on the punt return. Yep. Unfortunate to see, especially after not getting a lot of yards on that punt return. Unfortunate. They're just going to get pushed back another 10 yards at the 20 yard line, making the likelihood of the, uh, getting points before halftime a lot less likely. Yeah, it's looking need to slim, see some... but what do we got? Two timeouts or one? We got one now. Going to have to see some huge plays from this offense. Passing offense really needs to wake up if they want to get anything done here. Massive, yeah, massive. We're going to need huge plays here. And no running back back there, which Five is good wide, to see. Pennington looking to throw over Tip. the middle. Ooh. And Looks like he almost in. still brought that down after Nearly the brought it in with his non-dominant hand there on the back side. So that's going to be second and ten there for the Presidents. Minute 18 to go as they discuss what other play calls they got in their bag of tricks. Pennington, four wide receivers, fakes Here the we ball. Go. Pennington taking Pennington. off, Pennington building some running. speed. And he is tackled just short of the first down, but they're going to need to hurry up here. They're going to need to. Presidents likely want to conserve their timeout, but they got to get the offense moving. And they don't even seem to have the offensive line in full formation. And I mean, everyone's Zane. walking. What's Clock's going running. On? It's about seconds. 50 seconds. They're trotting. They are not in any rush at all. 40 seconds now. Pennington throws, and it is incomplete intended for Ace and Rich on an out route. And uh, folks, don't remember at halftime, we got the crowning of the king and the queen for our homecoming this year. Absolutely. It's going to be an amazing sight to see here. Action throughout the entirety of the game, whether that be through football or the amazing... Uh, Interactions we have with the fans. Music, amazing school spirit with the crowning as uh, the president's going to punt it on fourth down here. Yeah. You hate to see it. I mean, what a short drive. Another quick and easy three and out, and they're going to give Clear Fork the ball back. <laughs> with 39 seconds to go and two timeouts, is a very high punt there from Shipley. It's an awkward angle, but it's going to take a Relatively nice bounce. They're going to field it at about the 42 yard line. Good call, Hugh. Never seen breaking back. At the 42 only 30 seconds left here in the first half. President's only down by seven. So they can't beat themselves up about it too much. A great defensive play. Great defensive plays throughout the entire of the entirety of the first half. It's clear for lines up in I formation and they do a fullback dive there on first down. Not used to seeing a fullback dive in high school, huh, Zane? Nah, that, that's uh, definitely a rarity. I, I think I've ran it a few times in Madden, but I don't think I've seen it Goal in line person. offense, goal line offense. Strange to see in the middle of the field as the clock winds down with just 10 seconds to go. And clear work are likely gonna take this to the locker room. With a seven nothing lead over the presidents. As they will receive the ball at half at the beginning of the second half. And there it is. That's the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Crowning coming up for Marion Harding. So stick around. See you guys next half. Now we're good. I might have. Right, I, I got you, Miller. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Just wait, yeah, I'm on All right. Yeah, good. And we are back after the nice crowning right, ceremony at halftime. A bit of an underwhelming first half there, huh? Speak about underwhelming, uh, those fireworks being a little early, huh? Uh, hey, it happens, you know. You know, it happens to the best of us. Bolden was just a little too early on his uh, presentation. 
Ball fell over on the kickoff there, huh? It's be a little too windy out there. You can see the smoke. You can actually feel the wind up here in the press box. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I'm feeling it. It's getting a little chilly up here. Presidents reline up to do the kickoff. Rick Ross handing Jackson Shipley the ball. There goes Hewell once again. He's trotting away. President's up to kick the ball off to start the second half here. Try again. And there's and a, a flag. flag. Unbelievable. Heck of a kick, too. I mean, it's way out of stratosphere. They're going to drive a false start on the kickoff. So first we see two setters jumping offside. <laughs> and now a false start on the kickoff. I mean, this is just the most unordinary start to a half. I'm lost for words. Third time's a charm here for Jackson Shipley. Are they going to let them kick the ball off? Or... Uh, Jeremy Hoy and uh, Huell seem to be waiting around there. Oh. There comes the ball, and we're going to see what uh, what Jackson Chipley can do here. Kicking from the 35-yard line now instead of the 40. Let's see if it affects him at all. A little bit of a five-yard difference. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it can make all of the difference. That's right. I think it could play as a difference. Uh, Glazer... Uh, Preston over here. I think he's uh, not feeling it. I think it's going to be the same. He, that's what he thinks, at least. Shipley up to kick the ball off at the 35-yard line. Kick is up, and it is another solid kick being returned at about the 10-yard line. He's at the 30. They need to hit him. They need to wrap him up. Ooh. He's getting a huge gain there to the 45. 44, 45 yards. Almost yard the 45 yard line there. Wow. Unbelievable return there. I the think half there is a 0% chance he's at the 45. But I think he might be at the 44. He is at the 44. We calm down on those estimates there, partner. It's a good way area to start the ball. 44 yard line, as you uh, mentioned multiple times. First and 10 here. Colts offense looks very shaky after uh, seemingly the first drive of the entire first half. Oh, oh must snap! Landon Adams is all over that. Quarterback has just not been. Snaps the ball and is instantly pressured. A flag on the play. Flag on the play, but there is a plethora. Three to be exact. Presidents on the quarterback. Already second and 24. It'd be a shame if they lost even more yards here. Let's see what the flag is from Jeremy Hoy. A little technical difficulties up here with the cameras. Uh, sorry Holding about that. Holding on folks. the offense. Oh, wow. Penalty is declined. And they're going to take the sack to third down. Second, third. It's going to be third, yeah. Third and uh, third and how long are we? Second and 24, I guess. After the, oh, second and 32. Wow. That is a, uh, this is a no joke. What's going 
Oh, Clearfork jumps on the ball. Nonetheless, though, brings up fourth down here for him. Brings up a fourth and 28. Fourth and 28, uh, I thought they were going to go for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Zane, there is no chance they are going for this one. Solid snap to the punter. A high Straight one. up punt. Not getting a lot of yards on that one. I'm getting an unfortunate backspin. That punt may have gone 14 yards, Zane. 41 yard line is where they're gonna take it from here. That is an unfortunate feat. 15 yards on the punt. That is, that's not, that's not great. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the third quarter. Now let's see if Harding can get their first score of the game. Let's get some points on the board, huh? I believe first drive there, uh, offensively, of the half. As they fake the pitch to Ace and Rich, throw over the middle oh. and nearly intercepted there. Scott Harbaugh's seeing a lot of wide receiver looking plays this game. Unfortunately, Pennington not being able to connect with him there. He uh, kind of underthrew him there. Throw looked a little bit behind him as well. A connection with Connor and his receivers might need to uh, increase a tad bit. Second and 10 here now for the Presidents in I formation. Man in motion is Ray J. Scott Harbaugh. Pass play again. It is he caught. Got it. Holloway. About the, uh, about the 34 yard line that's the fourth or fifth the, uh, time that they've gone to him on those out routes and he's been cooking as the kids would say oh oh he's he's cooking looking at a third and three seven yard gain no scott harbled in the backfield here looking like another Interesting pass. strategy maybe a short pass play Last Maybe play a screen? they had Fosnoff blocking. He steps up. Maybe a RPO bubble screen. Nope. Throw down the field to Scott Harbold. Oh, he's, he's catching open. it. And he goes out. Unbelievable catch. Getting about to the three, four yard line. But unbelievable throw from Pennington up the sideline. He's on the four yard line here. Closest hard, they've been. Hard to imagine them escaping this drive with no points. But it's not impossible. Not impossible and timeout called. By the Colts, I believe. We'll hear soon. Not yet, though. Oh, President's actually called the timeout. Interesting strategy. Kind of uh, halting the momentum there on that drive, if you would say. We got a question for you, Zane. Uh, if you're the President's offense, are you calling a timeout there? I don't think I am. I don't think so either. I mean, you got to capitalize on that that momentum after that huge pass. Oh, yeah, the defense is still shaking up at this point, and uh, now they're going to have a fit to recover and decide what they're going to do. Fresh the players, zone. new strategy. I mean, it, they're prepared now. So are we, though. Goal line defense is very difficult, but goal line offense may be more difficult. That's a sentence. That is a sentence. Maybe a top tier one. Now they got a Harbo back in the backfield here. Essentially a power run up the middle through the guards. No. Pennington keeps it, it and in. he gets into the end zone for no a president touchdown. Harding touchdown. Fireworks being shot up. Haven't seen that in years. Oh, uh, that's what we like. That's what Marion needs to see. It's unfortunate every time Harding seems to score their touchdowns here, the band is never ready. 
Not sure what's going on there. There's actually uh, no band students in their section. Shipley up for the PAT. Another uh, extra point here. PAT is up and it is good for Jackson Shipley, tying the ball game up here at seven. Uh, tie ball game. Tie ball game here with about nine and a half minutes to go. Hardy. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Heel, heel taken off to the sideline here. Uh, let's see if uh, see if we can get another uh, big return here from the. Uh, Colts. They had one big punt return earlier on in the game. Getting it about the team is looking pretty strong. I believe they got it to the 41 yard line. A good, oh, yeah. good amount of blockers for this Colts kickoff team. Interesting to see if the presidents Ship can finally get to wrap them up. A bit of a, a squib straight kick, kick. there. Oh, oh, a huge opening there for him. And he's lit up at about the. Uh, 38? 37, thir 37 yard run, I think that would be. 0% chance is 38. <laughs> no. First and 10 here. 0% chance turns to 100. It is 38 yard line. First and 10 here for the Colts. Nine and a half minutes to go. Preston's defenses look very strong. And there it is, 38-yard line, like you said, huh? Like I said, huh? Right every once in a while, they hand the ball off over the Come middle. On. Not open. He stopped the first No opening at all, and he stuffed there, Zane. About the uh, line of scrimmage, maybe. Maybe getting back to the line of scrimmage. J.J. Starks has to come off for a play after his helmet comes off. He showed himself as a big player this year. Absolutely a very amazing run-stuffing defensive tackle. Uh, for the president's defensive line. They need a, a bigger presence like that, especially in the middle, and he fills that role very well. Throws the ball, and it is a uh, drop pass over the middle. Another slant. Third and ten here on the third and eight, 38 yard line. Just under nine minutes to go. Rolling out wide. Quarterback's, quarterback's looking to get the first down on his own, and he's pushed out of bounds there on third down. And Maybe a six yard pickup, something like that. Now, uh, the question here, Zane, is are there an odd territory? Still in their own territory, but just shy of midfield. That's fourth and five. Fourth and five there, yeah. Looks to be that they're going to be punting the ball, though. Not going to be going for it here. I mean, not a surprising decision. It's a tie game, they don't need it. Definitely still time too. About 20 minutes total left in this game. Tied shift constantly, Zane, so not a bad idea to just punt it out. And the punters for both teams are seeing a lot of snaps tonight, really. Yeah, it's been a very rough defensive showing. And honestly, there have been a few rough punts. Yeah. More than a few. Two 15-yard well, punt okay. plays. Oh. 
It's a little bit extra and number blocking. Four. A little landing. He talked Kelly. to the ref. There's no, uh, <laughs> no flag there, but he was uh, getting pretty rough there. A little bit of uh, unnecessary blocking as the uh, punt was not even returned. <laughs> blocking for air there, I guess. Ray J continuing to take snaps at wide receiver. Being that second inside guy alongside Ace and Rich. Pennington puts Rich in motion for about the eighth time tonight, rolling out. Rolling out again, looking for something, and that ball is... Now, I don't think that one's intentional grounding. He was aiming. Just uh, slipped out of his hand. Pennington seems to have uh, sometimes some issues with holding on to the ball in the pocket a little bit too long. Yeah. He's got the athleticism as we saw in that touchdown run. Why not just run out of the pocket and take the yards that they're giving you? I mean, it's easy to say from up there, but... Uh, Absolutely, I understand that. Once you're in his standpoint, I mean... Ray J getting about like <laughs> five yards. That was really close to a first down there. Was it? My depth perception might be a little bit off. Nope, third and five, five yard play. Yeah, I mean, five yards, that's pretty close. Yes, my depth perception's not too bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 8.21 to go here in the uh, third quarter. Three wide receivers on the bottom. Oh, and that's going to be an uh, encroachment. He's trying to shake his head. You're not playing it off, buddy. <laughs> oh, false start on the left tackle there. Five yard penalty brings up a third and ten for Mary. And, uh,. Right back where we started, huh? The penalties, man. The penalties are killers. Every t every time the Harding presidents seem they have momentum on an offensive or even a defensive drive, they just seem to be bombarded with the yellow flag constantly. Pennington surveying Steps his back. options. Escaping Finds pressure. A gap. He's got it. And he is dropped. Jeremy Hoy with the reception. And that's going to bring up fourth and very long. Fourth and 16. And there's Jackson Shipley. He's going to be out there. He's going to have to punt from about his five yard line. Not a very comfortable spot as a punter to be in at all. Not an ideal spot to be in at either. Could see a block punter, potentially a safety here with this type of field position. So it's never yes. Yeah. I mean great will. good coverage. It's great will though for the running back to be able to hold on to that pass, especially after getting I mean just ram trucked there by uh Lucas Keller. I mean he was hit like a Mack truck. Just under seven minutes to go here in the uh, third quarter. Second and seven here on the 34 yard line. Colts looking to make some big yards here on this Lots second and down. Going on, on defense here. QB keeper breaking a few oh, tackles. And he's just gonna be short of uh, the first down. So that's gonna bring up third and short for Clearfoot. Gain of four, third and three. Clear fork on third and three on the 38 yard line. Just six minutes to go here. High snap for the QB. Oh, and he, he gets it. Breaking Ooh. tackles. 
And that is the edge rusher who got a sack on Pennington to finally brought down by Jaden Griffith. Pick up of about 10, first down goals. First and 10 here. Just shy of midfield. Ladies and gentlemen, I have your winning 50-50 ticket number. 50-50, huh? 50-50 number, here we go. Clear for against the ball off over the middle. QB keeper actually on the option. Ooh, flag. And he is gonna get lit up out of bounds. There's a flag on the play, likely holding. Yeah, that one was thrown behind the line of scrimmage. It's hard to imagine that it's not And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I have your winning 50-50 number. Get out the ticket. Holding on the Colts offense. Tonight's winning number three. Zero, That's going to knock zero, him down three, 10 zero. yards. One, Back six, to where they started seven. last drive, and that's going to be first and 20 now. Three, zero, zero, three, zero. One, six, seven. Unfortunate they're back 20 yards, but they still have all three downs to go. And with the way this Colts offense has been rushing and getting the ball past the line of scrimmage, it's interesting to see how this uh, drive will turn out. It's likely to see a run here. Oh. QB rolls out wide and play action. Trying to oh, oh fumble. fumble! And he was having that he was having that problem in the first half too. Is that his third fumble of the game? I believe third or fourth. I mean he had that muff snap earlier in the second half as well. Maybe number four. And he may not have lost all of these fumbles, folks, but he has not been able to hold on to the ball, needless to say, and that has been a key story. Through tonight's game. Second the whole ball for the <laughs> Oh, and it appears we have the uh, clear fork cheerleaders over on our side here. Might need to uh, go back to the opposing side. <laughs> Shotgun play. Oh, and the QB the is Ooh. lit up. By, oh, a fumble! It's punched out. Oh, they're saying he was down. Unfortunate, but there's another flag on the play. Adams punched that ball. Both seniors, Justin Long and Landon Adams, getting there for that sack. A very gruesome one as well. And they're some of our most dominant defensive players on this team. Very polarizing players. Landon being the, uh, the big giant he is. Penalty is declined lots by the of, president. Lots of hand signs there from the ref. Not quite sure what uh, any of them meant. Old brother was throwing. He's uh. Penalty is declined. Third down and 28. Third and 28. And that's five yards off of where they were. Were they faced with a third and 28 earlier this game? Uh, they were faced with a third and 30 something. I believe it was a 36. A couple of long third downs from this game. Let's see if they're gonna pull a uh, hoarding here and go for a uh, run. Maybe run. a quick draw to get this drive over. Third and 28. And they don't, they drop back and pass. He's and he is sacked once again. Hey, and that's why you run the ball on third and long. This defense has been absolutely gut wrench. Quarterback a little quarterback slow to get up. Down. Very slow to get up. It's not good to see that. No matter what time, what, no matter what side you're on for this game, it's never fun to see players go down with injuries. As Clearfork looks to punt the ball on fourth and about 15 miles, fourth and 38 on the 20 yard line. Just under three minutes to go. Flag on the play from Hill. 
Delay of game on the punting team. That's going to be fourth and 43, Zane. I mean, no, when have you seen measurements like this before? That is the longest I've ever seen with my own eyes in person. I mean, hey, if Holden was here, he would be mesmerized. Absolutely mesmerized. He has never seen 43 yards out. And that punt doesn't even get to the line to gain. And that was a... That was a, oh, flag. Oh. Team. Number 30. Oh. Oh. A lot of turmoil over this foul. Oh, he's getting chewed out on the sideline here, number 30. Not a lot of people. There's a whole posse of people. Not quite sure what the penalty was. Confusion across the whole field here. Oh, whoa! Yeah, it was it was number thirty and number seven there getting into it. Number thirty and on Harding is not going to be on oh, King Paz, I believe. We're seeing hands waving and we're seeing claps on the sideline here. I believe number seven on King. Number seven on Clear Fork, I believe, was ejected oh, from an sportsmanlike conduct. I'm not even quite sure what the uh, the unsportsmanlike <laughs> unsportsmanlike conduct was on, but needless to say, Clear Fork is down one of their players, and that is never a good sign. Unbelievable. Ref stopping the game once again. The players on the other team are frustrated. I think people in the uh, stands are frustrated. I think everyone's frustrated at this point. I mean, what's this officiating? I couldn't tell you, Zane. Are I you mean, a little bit of frustrated? I, I can, I can see, I can sense bit. it being under your skin a tad bit. And Telcom, we're mad that we've lost the stream twice. Unbelievable. We're live now. I mean, we don't know what that does to our recording. We're live We're right, live now. right now. 2.38 left here in the third quarter as uh, struggling to fill time as the refs are just stalling at this point, trying to get that hourly check, I believe. I mean, what's going on? A real I mean, life yap session in the middle. Having of the a field. whole conversation in the middle of the game, Rick Ross stumbling over to the the circle of referees. They are all commuting to the 30 yard line. And you love to see a uh, celebrity show up in a little town like this. Absolutely, he's uh, actually walking to the complete opposite side. Oh, he is saying he right is. here, right there, at the 30, uh, 30, what? 37. He is standing his ground on the 37-yard line, and I believe he's ready to die on that hill. And honestly, I don't blame him. I think that's where the ball I mean, he is going. not moving, Zane. That 37-yard line is Rick Ross's to begin with, and there is no one taking that. And it looks like if Rick Ross is going to stay on that hill, he's going to have to die there. 
because this ball, it's going to be snapped at the 22-yard line. Detrimental for Rick Ross's confidence there as yeah. the ball will be snapped at the 22-yard line. First <laughs> down for the president. Whether he likes it or not, they're, they're going. Pennington snaps the ball, looks for passing, and he is brought down instantly He's in the up. backfield. Four defenders all around him. I mean, what do you do in that situation? Looked like a block zero there from the offensive lineman. Very confused stance there. So they're able to clean this up, though. Uh, come on, Harding call there from the stands. Uh, let's see if we can get some. Oh. Second and 18 here. Bennington throws the screenplay to Scott Harbolt. Loses one defender, to loses tackles. two. Makes it to about the 29-yard line maybe And Zaney now. had the big blockers in front of him, but unfortunately they couldn't get out wide enough for him. Oh, and oh, Will and Adams still down here. That is not good. You hate to see that. One of our captains of the team. One of the better players, if not, one of, if not the best offensive lineman on the squad. That's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous to say it at all. <laughs> I mean, we're back to this again, huh? The refs are all stood around and uh, deciding something again. Justin Long, is he's being thrown in some new pads and looks like he's going to play offensive line. With the unfortunate news of uh, Will having to come out, they have two linebackers playing offensive linemen now with Landon Keller, or Lucas Keller and Justin Long. And I mean, that is not ideal. They not were just throwing some pads in them there. Get out. <laughs> and this might be the longest referee two, yap session. Maybe longest three plays I've ever seen. I mean, they are stretching these plays out for absolutely no reason and now they want to say start the clock up Bro what are we doing it. he's dragging the third quarter is should have been over already and sat here for about three minutes doing absolutely nothing Pennington hikes the ball and unbelievable and now you're really starting to hear some ruckus from the crowd and I, I don't blame them there's no flag on the field. Timeout Harding after the ball was snapped there. Huh. Very curious decision there as it looked they were about to potentially get some positive yards out of that pass play Zane. You know, there's been a lot of uh, questionable decisions made from both sides. Offense and, uh, not offense and defense, home and away. I'm going to be honest with you folks. I have no idea what's going on at this point in the game. I don't think the referees do. That's why they're stopping the game so much. I honestly think no one knows what's going on except for uh, maybe Huel down there. Maybe Rick Ross. But I mean, we appreciate the refs coming out here and uh, you know, doing, they're, doing they're what they real, need. real hard workers and uh, very intellectual human beings. There it is. And the play has restarted Holloway in motion. Third and 16. Pennington unloads it down the field to Scott Harbolt. Oh, oh, oh. Looking for a Jermaine Curse type of play there. Now 
that's on that's on me, folks. If you saw a little, uh, all good there, the Zane. It's the, not that big of a deal. The I think it's being Fourth and sixteen here, Pennington. Oh, big block Escaping here for pressure. Connor Pennington. He's rolling out. It's throwing it. Dealing. Oh, <laughs> almost looked off. Uh, a little Mahomey there, huh? Yeah. Maybe a little. I mean, that was a, that was a potential big play there. Looking a little Joey, uh, Joey B. Mahomey esque. First and ten here for the Colts and another stoppage from the refs. Honestly, folks, these stop. Uh, we just got news. This is the longest third quarter of all time. That's not crazy. That's not ridiculous to say that at all, Zane. No, it's confirmed. I mean, I've never seen a third quarter longer than this. Have you? I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen a longer third quarter in any sport. About a half hour for the third quarter and about 12 minutes for the rest of them. Very interesting way to market the game here. As I mean, they have a uh, three back lineup launching it up the sideline, trying to test Cameron Fags. And, and he is says incomplete with no flex. Unsuccessful on testing him deep there. Bring up a second and five for Colts. Second and five from the 33 yard line. A minute and 10 left in the third quarter. Seems like 20 minutes ago, it was a minute and 40 to go. <laughs> and I don't think you're wrong. We got maybe a one second to one minute ratio going on here. I mean, 32 seconds and 32 minutes. <laughs> Quarterback being pressured by Mincy, and he has thrown down Absolutely by his jersey. Long. Zavion has been on an absolute tear today. I believe that is his second sack of the day. He's also, making a name for himself. So recovered a fumble today. I mean, he's having one uh, heck of a game. One heck of a game, huh? Quarterback rolling out, and it is it's caught. caught. And that's going to bring Hopefully up what fourth and one. Fourth and one. What do you see coming? Ah oh, man, this is a very tough and close call, folks. I mean, they're right there, but do you risk the field position game? They're, they might be calling a fourth and. Lots of booze and they are not fans at all. And as soon as he heard those booze, that got taken all the way back. Line, the line judge, he's taking that thing way back. Now that is. Fourth and one here. Looks to me that clear fork is going to be going for it. I mean, is that the right call, Logan? Uh, I'm not sure, Zane. The field position game is going to be looking really strange. And if They're Harding's offense can get a couple big plays going, they can wind themselves into a uh, seven-point uh, deficit here. Yeah, let's see what happens on this play here. Let's not see what happens on this play here because we're going to get a timeout. Timeout called there by clear fork. Good sports are winners regardless of the score. It's everyone's responsibility to ensure good sportsmanship on and off the field. And the best way to do it is by having respect for the players, coaches, officials, and the game. 
Hey, I got a question for you, Logan. How, how long until high school ball sees the new kickoff rules? Excuse me? How long until high school ball sees the new kickoff rules? Ah, that's actually a very interesting question, Zane. You know, I haven't thought of it like that. I think... Honestly, personally, I don't think they're going to implement that rule for many years to come because most high school kickers actually don't get the ball to the end zone. That's a fair point. Touchbacks aren't typically uh, an issue for high schoolers as uh, a lot of kids actually make their names in uh, kick and punt returns. So it's going to be uh, more likely than not that they're not going to implement those rules. But that's actually a very good question. Looks to me that the refs are still stalling. <laughs> hey, no hate to them, though. I, I get it. I get it entirely. Everyone, everyone doesn't mind a good staller once in a while. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. It's going to be a late drive home for some of these older parents at the game here. It's going to be a late drive home for me. <laughs> A QB sneak it, trying to get the first down, but there is a flag thrown as he breaks what through. What is going on? And they are just... Is, no. is that the quarterback going down at the 39-yard line? That is the quarterback going down, getting through all that traffic. And the Clear Fork fans do not sound appeased with this flag call. I mean, how is this guy's mic never working? It's never, it's never a whole sentence that comes out. Always a, a jumble of mumbles, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'd say a little connection issue. Fourth and six, and they're going to be forced to punt after a potential huge play. Ruined by another penalty, man. The penalties have been absolutely crucial today from Harding and Clear Fork's standpoint. Yeah, there's a. Now that you look at it, this is a very low scoring game as we're going into In, the fourth quarter here in 11 seconds with only 14 total points. Yeah. Seven between the two teams as they had Jerry Williams, or not Jerry Williams, I believe Juju, Glover, and. Uh, Jaden Griffith to return. Bunch it's gets a bit of another short return. And a really back bad spin. backspin. Taking them back to the 49. Little confusion after that punt there, but we should be getting the ball from the 49 the players yard players were unfamiliar of the fair catch ball. the Clear Fork fan from this side pretty well. Very loud and proud, even if they aren't as large as Marion Harding's band.
Connor Pennington out in I formation. And actually in a two back formation with Ray J. Scott Harbaugh back in the backfield. We got uh, four receivers on the field. They got Wanye back out there. They're going to be going forward. Ooh, we're marching. No plays were made, but we're marching. It's, it, uh, it is fourth quarter now, so they're going to have to uh, change. Good call there, Zane. Thanks, man. <laughs> First and uh, 10 here on the 44-yard line. I don't uh, quite understand what the confusion is here on the call. I don't believe you can go back on your penalties called. And what do you know? It's more confusion on the field. We are not even a second into the uh, fourth quarter yet, and there's already been a minute taken off. Finally letting the fourth quarter start. It is a backwards throw to oh. Ray J. Scott Harbaugh. He's wide open. He is. And there's a flag. A DPI. Pass interference. And the crowd goes wild. Flags thrown at every angle of the field. And that's definitely the right call there. I mean, the guy is just running up against him DB, while he's trying to catch the ball. DB doesn't even turn his head even. Textbook defensive pass interference. Hey, and that is far from Ray, jo Ray J's first, hole, first throw of the game. Sorry there. Two gloves on as well. Uh, th first throw of the year, I mean. Sorry, he played quarterback last game. That's what I was going for. Fifteen yard penalty here for the Presidents. Uber beneficial for this drive to continue. As the you can't do that chance starts continuing towards the fans, I believe. I'm not sure if we got a gain on that play. Maybe a three-yard gain. Brett McCreary always coming in with the quick expert analysis. Three-yard gain there from Cartel. As they sub in Landon Adams as the big fullback, keeping Ray J out there as slot receiver. They hand the ball off. Maddox Simmers, Maddox Simmers with the carry there. Simmers not getting uh, much of a gain there. Maybe getting back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and uh, third and manageable. A little bit longer than you'd prefer, but definitely been converted multiple times today. Third and six. Third and six. Here we go. Third and six. Let's see a pass here, huh? See, uh, what we got maybe Landon Adams going out there as a receiver. They got, wow. There, he's sent, he sent over, and now we're seeing another timeout. The presidents have zero timeouts left. And the fourth quarter has quarter just started. Not a good look, especially for a close game, Zane. They're going to need those timeouts, especially if uh, maybe clear for scores before they do. It's a scary dot, a whole fourth quarter with no uh, timeouts. No way of stopping the clock. I mean, not that it wasn't a necessary timeout. If it's third and six and you're almost touching the red zone, it could be a good time to call a timeout. Absolutely. you got to regroup and really gather your thoughts and understand what's going on in this uh, red zone type area. Because they need this play to work. Absolutely. It's crucial. Third and five here. 
Ten and a half minutes here in the fourth quarter. Pennington snaps the ball, rolls right. Cutting through, throws, and it's caught! Ray Touchdown. J. Scott Harbaugh! Touchdown! <laughs> Presidents take the lead! Flames shoot! The fans roar! And there's that music we're looking for. Fan finally coming alive in the air in the fourth quarter after a much needed touchdown drive here from the Harding Presidents. I think the timeout was worth it. I'll say it, I think the timeout was worth it. Absolutely. Shipley, extra point, second of the game. PAT is up. Oh, it's blocked. Wow, not That's something you see every day, huh? But that's been the recipe for this game, huh? And there's the firework. Last time was a little early, this time it's a little late, huh? <laughs> Gotta get that timing right, huh? It's all about timing. Nevertheless, good to see the fireworks going again. Always a good sight to see. Even if it's a noise complaint here at the uh, later hours of the quarters, huh? That's right. You know, I've heard that's an issue for the people that live around this area. It is, it is. That's, uh, I believe, one of the partial reasons why they uh, discontinued doing it, which is an unfortunate uh, occurrence, but... Which it's hard to believe that the fireworks, one loud boom is louder than the ruckus of uh, two entire stadiums. You'd think, Zane. You'd think. You'd think if you're moving across the street from a football stadium, you might hear some noise. You just, you just might. <laughs> Shepley preparing to kick off from the 40-yard line. Ten and a half minutes to go here, only up by six after the president's kick was blocked for that extra point. Shipley's pass, uh, two kickoffs. Shipley's pass? said passed. Two kickoffs, uh, been squib kicks. This one no different. And he is brought down very quickly. About That's the 30, 31? 30, 31. I, I'm willing to bet it all. It's a 31-yard line. I'll debate you there. 32. We're both 32. off. 32. How unfortunate. Can't win them all, huh? Ain't that the truth. Ain't that the truth. In uh, gambling culture, it might be big in this town as we see the 50-50 every Friday. Consistent gamblers here at the uh, at the White House. First and ten here at the 32 for the Colts. They bring an extra blocker. And a very as the ball is nearly intercepted there. He had a lot of pressure coming at him there. Almost deflected. For number 30, actually, Caden Paz. Caden Paz, the correction there. Uh, I believe so. Am I wrong? Is it Paz or Paz? No idea. You're probably right. It's Paz. There it is. Any uh, <laughs> any Paz relatives at home? Uh, sorry about the mispronunciation from my partner over here. Oh, oh! Right down by Landon Adams. Huge jackal off for loss there by Landon Adams. And if a touchdown and a sack back to back aren't gonna get you fired up, what is? I mean, this is just huge. Third and 16 here from the 26 yard line. Gonna take a miracle play for the Colts here to get a first down and continue this drive. 
and you can expect a shot here. Down six in well, the Well, definitely fourth an quarter. attempt of a shot. They've tried to make these attempts of shots down the field, especially recently, but they just have not been able Let's to hold see up. It. He's already just looking. like here, as he is bent by the entire nope. defensive line. No flag, a clean play. Looking can at about a fourth and 20 maybe here. Can we count that an entire defensive line sack? That's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous to say it. Uh, pretty good game tonight. I have high hopes that we'll win, and if we don't, I'm going to be sad. And that's a quote straight from a uh, telecom member here. I think I think he's right. I think there's a pretty good game so far. And uh, up six, I think we got a good shot at this. Here comes the punt. Colts block. Uh, Long punt. Waved off by Jaden Griffith. Next. Presidents will take over at the 42 yard line here. Three receivers with Landon Adams at the tight end fullback position. As he is a pulling guard in this situation, blocking for. Uh, and he's leveled out. Harbaugh, who may struggle to get to the line to scrimmage. There goes Jeremy Hoy placing the ball. It's a very interesting name call there from Brett McCrary. Couldn't quite make out what uh, that name was. A little bit of a Caden pause situation there. Maybe. Apologies out to that clear fork parent out there. Man in motion is Ace and Rich. Pennington looking to throw as he is brought down fast. And Stinson drops the pass. Quite an unrealistic drop there. It's very unfortunate for the Presidents. Very unfortunate. I mean, after a shaky pass, he, he had it in his hands. Ray J requests an extra glove there from the sideline. He gets it. So, uh, I didn't realize he was actually playing the first two downs with only one glove. Huh. It's a very unusual situation for a running back. Ten seconds on the clock here. They're they got to get something going. They look a little confused across the line. Clock winding down at five. Pennington gets the ball off. Looking Rolling for out. He's looking open. Down the field. Maybe to Maddox Simmers. And it is... Short out of bounds, unfortunate. Bit of an inaccurate pass on third down there. That's going to bring up fourth, and they're going to have down. to punt. It's going to be I mean, no going to bring up a punting dra uh, punting down. Um, not ideal for the Presidents, but you know, got to remember they're up now by six. Yeah. Now, and their defense ever since that second drive has been. Almost flawless. Stand out performances from each and every member. There's not been a weak spot on that defense since the second half began. I mean, don't forget to tune in to uh, Coach's Corner. Yeah, I think we might hear some uh, hear some talk about this defense tonight. As Almost. Jackson Shipley is nearly blocked there for the second time today, this time and for a once, punt. Once again, a good roll. Almost to the 20 yard line. <laughs> I'd call it the 20 yard line. Yeah. It's in between the 20 and the 21. I'll give I'll you that 20. 20. I'll give you that 20. I'll give you that 20. Thank you. They're giving it the 21, though. I think that's a little ridiculous. A little ridiculous. That's a ridiculous statement. You know, but we'll leave it there. We'll, we'll let it Henry slide this with time. A huge throw. Oh, my. World's strongest man officiating. You love to see it. Refs got that ultra strength, that ultra dog in them. Shout out to Mark Henry coming out and uh, officiating this game.
Colts take over here at the 21-yard line. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Colts line up with uh, the fullback in the backfield. Faking it, play Looking action, for quarterback pass. steps he up in the pocket. And there he goes. Tackled by a duel of defensive linemen once again. The quarterback, I believe, has been sacked double digit times. It's looking like a uh, rough night for him. Very and rough we night. We saw him hard to get up earlier. Imagine how he's gonna be feeling tonight. Oh man, there's gonna be bruises and bumps from the turf and all these players everywhere. And you, you, if you're clear for it, can you take a loss tonight? You drive an hour back home sitting on that bus. That's going to be a long ride. Long ride home. A whole hour ride of just. Everyone's going to be. Uh, Screen pass is unable to be completed there. That's going to bring up third and 15 from the 16-yard line. And the Colts are just looking in every direction for something to go right for them. Unfortunately, have, it has it. Yeah, if they're going to have something go right, it needs to happen now. This is the uh, this is their last. Clock's winding down, Zane. You got to remember, there's only six minutes to go. That's Two right. timeouts only. I mean, the offense has not gotten anything going for them. In a long time. Yeah, I mean, can we count back to all the way to the first drive of the game? I mean, you got to, but I mean, what have they done since then? Or better yet, what has our defense done? A lot. Oh! Speaking of which, a there huge pass goes. play over the middle! He's on the 50, and he's down at almost the 40. Zane, you just said it earlier. They needed something big to happen, and that right there is the biggest play that could have happened. Yes, it is. Like I said, if they're going to have a big play, it's going to be right here, and there it is. They surely needed that one. The events for Harding's got to regroup, really get their head back in the game. Not really dwell on that uh, big pass play they just gave up. More uh, focusing on keeping the uh, Colts out of the end zone. Oh, and the ball is tipped, nearly intercepted. Caden Paz there. Paz with a diving attempt there after the tip ball, I believe, from Landon Keller. Colts are lined up at the 39-yard line. Well, I guess they're not lined up yet, but that's where they'll be taking the snap from. This game is getting intense, Zane. Yeah, I'm going to have to stand up for this one. This one, uh... Partner standing up. This is how intense the game's getting, folks. We're hearing a lot of rumble. Pass play over the middle. And he holds on to it. Wow. He is just How in the world he, did he hold on to that? He gets hammered as soon as he catches that ball, but he holds on to it. And Colts. their band is fired up. Colts are giving this offense reason to be fired up. Absolute roaring from the from the brass instruments as the Colts line up here for offense. They hand the ball off to the fullback of all people who's breaking multiple tackles and getting to the outside. Maybe about five, six yards on that play. Yeah, they're lucky to have got him down. I mean, he was one broken tackle away from a first down, if not more. You got to remember, Zane, that extra point that was blocked from uh, Jackson Shipley is going to be detrimental now for this offense because all the clear fork uh, needs is an extra point to be uh, in the lead for this game. That was an absolutely crucial block. I mean, that could really show to be a problem for the Brexit. Play action, rolling out right. Oh! He is just... Quarterback gets speared out of the air and still delivers a phenomenal pass to the corner, but just short of number six's hands. The whip might be knocked out of him there. Holy. Yeah, he got right back up, but, I mean, he's moving a little slow. Oh. I mean, I'm surprised he's not down for the one, two, three count. I mean, that was a very rough hit. Hey, he could be getting the one, two, three count. That was an edge spear. That was a Roman Reigns spear on the field. 
on the field. That is a WWE move in football. Third and five here on the 19 yard line. Just under five minutes to go. Clear for talking over with their coaches and their teammates. What play will they call inside the red zone? Third and five, red zone play, 10 seconds on the clock. They need something here. What do you think they call? What do you think? What would you call? And here comes a timeout, but I'm thinking, well, they, they can't run it. On no. third and five, you can't run it. Uh -uh. Well, your, your running back's been really showing out this game, but at five yards, that's a risky, risky call. And you got to think the Harding run defense has been very strong. The pass very. offense has opened up this offense uh, honestly the most. Absolutely. This drive, our pass defense hasn't been that great. Uh -uh. Run defense, it's up there. It's been solid. It's been solidified. The pass offense has been the shaky part of the defense. Or the, Pass defense has been the shaky part of the defense for a majority of the season, Zane. Yeah, Sometimes the, you'll get the big play interceptions, and then other times, you know, you'll get those types of 50-yard uh, gains for an offense. Yep. A little inconsistent. However, this game, I mean, it was looking like a slow-paced, you know, maximum of maybe 14 points scored in the game, and now... Now you're looking at an exciting nail-biter from Coming either down team. to the last minute. I mean, this game has truly been electrifying in its own way. I mean, there's not been a game this season who has that has lived up to a game like this. And here it goes. Third and five. Hitting the ball off up they the middle. And he marches first for First down, more pushed by the down. offensive lineman. Colts are going to take over on the eight yard line. Or uh, the nine yard line, my mistake. Four and a half minutes, and just as we predicted earlier, the Prexies have no timeouts. If they score a touchdown here, that's not going to be easy to work with. Handing the ball off again, but he is tripped up by Justin Long in the backfield. About to maybe the five yard line? Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple yards on that gain. Maybe about the seven, six yard line. Game one on the play. Second and goal from the eight. From the eight-yard line. Second and eight here. Or second Inside, goal, really. Inside the ten. Very risky to pass the ball over the middle, but, man, they are not running that much coverage over. Another run. And, and he, he is mauled. Mauled. Absolutely met by the linebacker Justin Long, who has been a prolific tackler for Marion Harding for the last three seasons. Just mauled him. Just under three and a half minutes to go on third down and goal here from the 10 yard line. President's After that maul by Justin Long. President's still holding their six point lead, but you gotta wonder how long it's gonna fare. Nine seconds on the play clock here. They got to get it going here. Got to get a play running or something. Three seconds. Potential four down territory. Handing it off to the fullback. And he is met just like the running back in the last play. Bringing out William Dunn. Wow. Unusual. Subbing out Kwame uh, Scott. Maybe a D tackle. Nose tackle uh, heavy. Looking with uh, him and Jamari Starks. Fourth and seven, and I don't see a kicker on the field. They have to go for it here, Zane. Just one timeout. Just over two minutes to go here in the game. And, and this is it. They're wasting their final timeout. This is the game. The, ladies and gentlemen, this could potentially be the game. On the line here. And potentially one of the last times, if not the last time, we see the Clear Fork offense. And don't forget. This would have been a touchdown if it wasn't for that ball by Justin Long. You know, Zane, I always cut back to I want to always cut back to the uh, beginning parts of this uh, game because not a lot of people realize that uh, those plays matter too. When uh, we uh, failed to convert on fourth uh, fourth down earlier on the first drive of the game, and yeah. we didn't go for the field goal. In hindsight, you know, 
going for it was probably a good idea inside the 30. But if we had taken that field goal and made it, I mean, Zane, we're up by more than a touchdown at this point. It's a two-possession game if we take the field goal. I don't think I've seen our team take one field goal from past maybe the 20-yard line. That's it's, all I It's like our, we just don't want to kick it. I have a little bit of confidence in your kicker. He's got the leg strength for it. And here Fourth it is. and seven. Back to pass. Pressure in his face. He's got a little All room. day. It is caught. Touchdown by the Clear Four Colts. Unbelievable throw to the sideline. And that, that, he did it for him. That is crucial. Game tied 13 apiece. 2.15 left to go here in the game. That's exactly what they needed. And here's what it comes down to. Who would have thought an extra point in a game would be so deciding, so meaningful, so important? Ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this point. Will it be a tie game? Or will Clear Fork recapture the lead? Going into the two minute, and they do. And the fans erupt. erupt. Absolutely erupting into uh, cheers. The van continuing to. And, hey, like you said, in hindsight, the timeout, it resulted in a touchdown. They got us to lead. Now they're left with no timeouts in two minutes and 15 seconds. Two minutes, it's a little bit more serviceable than I pre predicted. It's going to be very interesting to see how the uh, president's offense uh, chooses to uh, retaliate. Back to return this kickoff, I believe are Jerry William, uh, Ray J. Scott Harbold, and uh, Juju Glover. Currently, both high school bands going at each other. Clear Fork versus Harding's band. Currently going loudness for loudness right now. The stadium atmosphere, the pulse, Zane, it's teetering on top five right now. The loudness in the stadium, I can barely hear myself talk. Oh, I know. I, uh, it's going to be interesting what happens in these last couple minutes of this game. See how the fans react. See how the game goes. Clear Fork ready to kick off. Here goes. Potentially a big return would really help us here. Returner's Less not deep and minutes. another squib kick. Oh, and it is muffed by Ray J. Scott Harbold. And wow. That is... Uh, Quite possibly one of the uh, That is now two jinxes from me. One of the more unfortunate uh, loss of yards I've seen for Harding. Especially Certainly. this late in the game, Zane. They're on the 11-yard line with two minutes to go. Now you're faced with 89 yards in two minutes. How likely is that, Zane? They're going to need to get in the field goal range, and once they do, are we going to see Jackson Shipley? Are we finally going to? Are we going to see him be able to take this team to two wins on the season? We're going to get to see here. Pennington unloads down the sideline. Dropped. Pass is broken up there. Second and ten. Second and ten. That was a nuke. That was, I mean, a really... Bold move on first down. But it's what they need. They're going to keep looking for that type of play. We're looking at a lot of make or break plays here. And we got Jackson Shipley warming up his kicks on the sideline here. He knows what they're going to ask of him. He knows it's going to be a long ask. But um, Pennington unloads to there throw the ball. He's open. Up the field. AJ, and he's out what of bounds. A throw. And he's out of bounds. That'll stop the clock at exactly two minutes sharp. 
What a throw up the sideline to Ray J. Scar Harbaugh. The man who does it all for this offense. And what's our field goal range looking like? Where do we need to be, do you think? I could think uh, between the 30 to 40 yard line, somewhere in between that range. I feel like Jackson is able to make a kick that far. Pennington rolling, rolling uh, left. Throws Cross body it. throw. Oh! And Cartel there, he had it, and then he was hit midair, and he, he lost that is a, it. He was met by about four Colts defenders in the air there. Not a surprise he didn't come down with that. And it's going to be second down in 10 on the 33-yard line. A minute and 51 to go, folks. President still trailed by one, looking to become uh, in field goal range. They need another sideline shot, just like the last one. Maybe uh, replicate the same type of uh, play action uh, magic they had. Bennington rolls Rolling out, out like again. again. A lot of pressure. Fumbles it out of bounds at the 25 yard line. And they are calling Pennington down instead of fumbling it. So it is going to be third and about 18, I believe. Maybe third and 19. More, yeah. And that is exactly what Harding didn't need. Uh-uh. Clock is rolling now. You got to remember, we are at 110. Now back to the 24-yard line. Looking for a huge play up the sideline again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my Lord. Oh. And there it is, the flag PI. Ray J nearly came down with an unbelievable one-handed grab on the sideline. But there's a pass interference call on the there Colts defense. A the huge bailout. Stopped. The clock is stopped at one minute and three seconds. I believe that is an automatic first down as well for the Presidents. And there goes the you can't do that chant again. They have just been absolutely abusing that chant today, haven't they? Absolutely. Third and four, and here they are again, all the way up at what looks to be 39 yard line. That sounds about right. Maddox Simmers in the backfield. And here we go, rumbling coming from the opposing stadium. Huge play here on third down. Pennington is wrapped up. And he is sacked at get the 29-yard line. Have they have to get the clock rolling. If they want any chance of winning this game, they need to hurry up. Zane, the clock is running. It's 45 running seconds. This is going to be a desperation play. Desperation. Fourth and 16 here. Here it goes. 35 seconds to go. New cup to Ray J. Scott Marble. It's, it's caught complete. out of bounds. And it's caught out of bounds. And that's going to be Clear Fork's ball. Clear Fork ball with about 30 seconds to go on the 29 yard line. And unfortunately, it's uh, looking like. Uh, you can expect uh, victory formation to come out. Yes, absolutely. Victory formation is arriving soon. Clear Fork all but won this game officially. A very hard fought game. They came back from a six point deficit late in the fourth quarter, persevering, going about 80 yards on that one drive, getting a huge play on, I believe what, third and 16? Getting about a 50 yard pass play. And just like that, Clear Fork is going to walk in to Marion and walk hey, hey, out with hey, a win. No more long bus ride for them, huh? No more long bus ride, we may have jinxed that for them. I might have had a few drinks as this game, folks. And there it is. There's the knee. Ladies and gentlemen, final score, 14 to 13. Clear four. And 
What a heck of a game. What an absolute performance from both sides of the uh, both sides of um, the team. Honestly, Clearfork played excellent. Harding, aggressive on defense, offensively, couldn't capitalize all the time, but it was a pleasure being able to watch this game with you guys. And uh, being able to be able to commentate it with my uh, partner Zane over here. It's always a pleasure having yeah. you up here. Hey, it might be the last time, might not. I mean, it was a, it was a great time. And a great game. Thank you all for watching uh, Marion Harding uh, Telecom Productions. We will see you guys at the next game in about two weeks. Don't forget to tune in to Coach's Corner.